Finit Cat le presentó a clientes y prensa la flamante serie D de mini cargadoras sobre ruedas y sobre orugas. No te pierdas las últimas innovaciones y tecnologías de Caterpillar. Bueno, estamos en las oficinas de, de Finning Cat, el representante para Argentina de, de los productos Caterpillar. Estamos acá con todo el equipo que, que, que ha organizado un evento importante hoy con, con grandes clientes para presentar lo que es la nueva línea de mini cargadoras de la serie D. Acá al lado mío lo tengo a Facundo Contreras, que es el, el especialista de producto para, para esta línea, que nos va a comentar de, de, de lo que fue el evento de hoy y después nos va, nos va a introducir a... Acá el especialista de CAT también, que tenemos la suerte de, de contar con él, que nos, que nos mostró cuáles, cuáles fueron las ventajas de esta Mini. Sí, bueno, finalmente Finning pudo conseguir las máquinas, eh, los nuevos mini cargadores, la nueva serie D. Contamos con equipos de orugas, con equipos de ruedas. Tenemos la presencia de Heimberg, que para nosotros eh, es nuestro especialista técnico a nivel mundial, de Caterpillar y Marcelo, que es nuestro gerente comercial para Latinoamérica. Ellos se encargaron de hacer todo lo que fue la capacitación técnica a vendedores y técnicos. Y bueno, y hoy tuvimos un evento un poco más masivo con clientes, bueno, con ustedes también, queríamos hacerlo extensivo a, a bueno, todos sus contactos también. es un referente, es la persona que más sabe de mini cargadores en el mundo, eh, hace muchos años que está trabajando en Caterpillar. First of all, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here in Argentina to introduce the newest generation, the D-series uh, compact machines. This is a big step. Uh, since 1998, Caterpillar has been leading the industry with innovations and technology that makes some machines safer, more productive, and easier to service. At the end of the day, our customers need to make money. Most customers own 1.8 machines. People don't realize that most customers are smaller customers, and this machine is their livelihood. We spend literally $44 million redesigning the best machine in the industry. We already wore the best with the C and the B3, but we wanted to make it better. So we are again more generations of machines ahead. There are key features built into this machine, and it is quite an honor, after 36 years in the industry, to be here and to present a machine that can do it all. What do I mean by that? Who would have thought that you'll have a sealed and pressurized cab? That's mean that the air inside this cab is cleaner than anything on the outside. Let's go through dual filters. We keep all the elements, dust, silica, spores from funguses, all the things that you don't want to breathe out and away from the customer lungs. Health is important to us. Visibility out of this new cab is phenomenal. Small things like the grade, how these windows are built with windows on all sides. People don't think much about it. But notice that you have both right and left side windows. It's front and back. The ability to communicate, to see, visually to see the entire cutting edge on a bucket or the forks, any of the work tools, the ability to have an inside uh, automatic camera, 
this camera come on as soon as you put the machine in reverse, you can also leave it on all the time. So with the new arms, that's something new for the D-series machine, we have tubular steels with solid steels in the front, just like we do on a wheel loader, enables the operator to have full 360 degree visibility. That's mean that he's more productive, safe, he doesn't run into either people, livestock, building, trees. That's mean that the customer can make more money. So we designed this machine, first of all, with safety in mind. Safety features built into this machine like an accumulator, allowing you to lower the arms down, We're releasing both the lift and the tilt cylinder pressure. So you can always, at any time, bring the arms down, even if the engine stops. Common way for engine to stop is running out of fuel. It happened to every one of us. People don't pay attention, they run out of fuel. No problem, Caterpillar, turn the key to on position, parking brake once, take the right joystick, put 11 o'clock, the arms will come down. In an unlikely event that things really got bad and you have no electric power, we have a dead engine lowering valve right to the left side of the back seat. You can bring the, those arms down at any time. The back window is a escape hatch, so is the front window. So we have more ways to keep the customer alive, to keep him healthy, safe, and that's what it's all about. So with cab one, as we talked about, all the cabs on one piece yes. is one piece, and it's the same size cab. From the 59, 36, all the way to the 89 size class machine, all the same size cab. I saw you in Expo, it's nothing like that in the, in the market. Properly adjusting the seat, adjustable seat bar, adjustable air suspension seat, everybody fits into this machine. 3.3 liter engine, very, very powerful. It's 75 horsepower. The torque that this engine delivers is equivalent to an 85 horsepower engine. So it's more fuel efficient, but extremely powerful. Coupled to direct coupling to load sensing variable displacement piston pumps allow us to maximize the power all the time. You can run it at very low RPM. Because of those pumps, we can run it at low RPM and get the same power as if we ran it at high RPM. That saves money, it saves fuel, it saves sound, and mainly it's get the job done. Changing air flows meant that we had to change the design of the machine. We had to change the position of the engine. We did it for safety reason. Airflow now comes from the back, blow through the top. The beauty here is that air, cooler air from the cooling package, mix together with the hot air coming from the exhaust. Meaning on this machine, there is no hot spots, none. That's mean that I can put my hand right over here, engine running, I'm not gonna burn. Plus this machine is also equipped with ride control. Ride control allows the arms to float and to absorb the energy from the bumps on the road. Most people think it's for uh, comfort and keeping the load in the bucket. That's true, but the real reason for ride control is to get longer life on tires and the structure. So the whole design concept behind the D-Series and behind all of the Caterpillar line of product is about reducing cost of operation through redu redu reduction in fuel consumption, longer life, longer operating time without service, and service time cut as short as possible. Everything on this machine is reachable from the ground level. You don't have to climb over anything to reach and service this machine. So a huge advantage of this machine is that it's like a, very similar to a Swiss Army knife. It's got a lot of work tools that you can put on and off. It's got a lot of uses. The coupler system that we have here allows you to hook on and hook off the buckets. And this is an electric, electric coupler. Uh, it'll allow you, for example, if you have a set of pellet forks and you have a bucket, it'll allow you to, from inside the cab, to disconnect one, hook onto the next, and you're off to the next job. You don't have to get out of the cab, you don't have to manually pull the levers. Huge advantage. Just to finish, what are the models you are presenting here? I mean, you have like two or four middle-sized models in the, in the new series, and then you have the two of the, the big ones. To Argentina, we're bringing out the 242D, 236D, all the way to the 289D. What we have here today is the 246D, which is a radio lift machine, 262D, which is a vertical lift machine, 
Then we also have right here behind me is the 259, the compact track loader. It is the number one selling Caterpillar machine today in the world. It is a spectacular machine, very, very powerful. It's have a 75 horsepower engine, yet it's only 1.6 meter wide. That means that you can still go into very narrow places. It's have incredible lifting capacity of 1.5 ton. However, it will easily handle a two ton load. And that's something that makes it very, very unique. With independent suspension, it's able to go to places that you and I literally could not even walk. Thank you for, for your training uh, and welcome again to, to Argentina and Finland. Thank you for the warm welcome in Argentina and we're looking forward to keep on growing. And thank you in particular for all the folks in Finning that put this together. We really appreciate it. Muchas gracias. I'm, I'm hoping to have one of those hats afterwards, you know? No problem. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi. ¿Qué estás esperando? Suscríbete ya.